That brings us now to ordering systems. And this is now again where you need to tighten your safety belts. How do I order? Remember again with the whole time in inventory talking, independent demand and dependent demand. Let's start with the first one, independent demand. We're back into the bicycle shop and we are now ordering for stock for that shop to be able to sell bicycles. All right. If you go to this particular chart on the left hand side, it's independent demand. That's my warehouse curve or graph and I want to make sure that I have enough stock and I replenish enough stock. I have 60 bicycles, 60 units in stock. I know I'm selling 20 per week, my demand. I know also I need safety stock of 20 units. So if my safety stock is 20, Dorna, I don't want to eat into safety stock. So that's for me a, a limit, safety stock. I may not eat into safety stock if I can prevent it, if I can prevent it. So, Let's go back to my demand, 20 per week. I'm sitting on 60 after week one. What will my number now be? 60, 40. Next, next week? Oops, now I've got a problem. Okay, my lead time is two weeks. So I should order two weeks before I hit the trouble. One week, two weeks. So at this point here, in fact, at that point, I'm going to say here, yeah, that's my reorder point because I need replenishment at the time I hit safety stock. If my order quantity is 60, I receive it now at week two, so it's 20, 40, 60, me, takes me up to 80. That's my stock level. So this is my lead time, two weeks, and that's my new level. I use on a diagonal line, I receive on a vertical line. It happens instantaneously if that's my weeks. So now I receive my stock. Everything good, I'm standing on 80. My demand is again 20. Lorna, here we continue. After one week, it goes down to 60. Week two, 40, 20, again I hit safety stock. So two weeks before that, I need to order. Two weeks, it's again at level 60. That's quite interesting because my demand is regular, right? And we do do that for the moment. So I receive again a shipment, I receive 60. 20, 40, 60, I'm again at 80, and so on. And the picture repeats itself, and again, two weeks before that, I hit trouble, so I've got my lead time of two weeks, and I've got my lead time of two weeks. And there are my three order points. Now, what's interesting in this case, I can calculate that with a little formula, my reorder point. Reorder point is demand during lead time. Demand during lead time, what's my demand, 20? What's my lead time? Two weeks. So it's 20 times two. What's my safety stock? 20 units. 20 times two is 40 plus 20. So we can tick it off. We're on 60. We've got the reorder points. There are three reorder points in the case of independent demand. So now clearly it's not always that sim simple. My demand is different and my levels are different. And by the way, you know now how we can calculate the safety stock. We've done that earlier. We know it depends on the, on, the, on, on the standard deviation and so on. So I'm sort of ready. What about dependent demand? Let's now say, I know I'm going to make bicycles at two times. I'm going to make bicycles at week three. I'm going to make bicycles at week six. So I know when I, when I need to withdraw those those tires or wheels, whatever I'm going to use. So I'm now in this curve. I'm standing at 20 units now as we speak, 20 units stock on hand. I don't need anything in week one because I only need by week three, 60 units. So my stock stays the same. What happens Booby here at week three? I now need 60. So my demand goes up to number 60. How much do I need? I was at 20, so I need Another 40. When should I order? My lead time is two weeks. When should I order? Two weeks earlier. So two weeks earlier. So that's my reorder point. Do you agree with that? That's my reorder point. Two weeks before I need it. I get 40. I'm standing on 16. And I use them immediately because I issue them now to the factory and they build bicycles. My stock is zero. No problem. I don't need stock. Mze, when do I need stock again? Week six, you agree? Right, 
Week four, week five, week six. How much do I need here? I need now 80. When should I order them there if I need that at week six? Two weeks, I said, you're right, two weeks before the time. So here's my reorder point. Okay, so I'm standing at 80, I need 80, I use it immediately. I issue it to the factory, they build bicycles, and there I go. This picture is slightly different than this one. We call this lumpy demand. Clearly, I don't need the stock that I have in the first three weeks because I don't use it, okay? But, but this is an interesting, different picture. I had a question mark for safety stock. How much safety stock do I need for the right-hand picture? Dependent demand. It's error. We don't need that. Not now because we calculate how many bicycles we're going to make. So we don't need safety stock. Right? So, my lead time, order quantity, that's interesting. We've got the 40 and we've got EMZ 20, 40, 60, 80 in this case. Now, so I know how much I'm going to order. So that's a nice calculation. There's no need for safety stock. It's, it's, it's clear.